it's cooking time. Hey everybody, welcome to Digibomb Versus, where it's me against the world, or whatever I'm up against at the time, and in this case, it's Making a Mattress Chef, Episode 4, where we're going to tackle another appetizer, and that is stuffed mushrooms. Personally, not a fan of mushrooms, it has a weird slimy texture, but I have a theory that with enough bacon, anything's good, or at least edible. And so we got our bacon that's going to be stuffed inside the mushroom. On top of that, we're also going to want some cheese uh, and the cream cheese. Cream cheese is going to be the base, I guess. Um, I have chive and onions. Also not really a fan of that flavor, but the bacon should mask it out. But it'll give it some flavor, so I won't have to, like, I don't know, season it or something. And so we're going to want some of the cream cheese, the shredded cheese. So we're going to shred this cheese. This, I feel like block cheese doesn't have like that weird coating that shredded cheese has, so it'll just taste better and just overall do better. So we got the block cheese, the shredder for that, and we're gonna put that inside the, the mushroom, as well as on top, because you can never have enough cheese. And the bacon, of course, inside and on top. We'll sprinkle a little garnish. Gonna, gonna spice it up by making it look tasty, and hopefully it is tasty. So, uh, you're also going to want a, a bowl or something to put the insides of your mushrooms in. And then a, a cookie sheet with some foil just so it keeps it nice and neat uh, afterwards. And that will be what you're going to put all the mushrooms on. And then you're going to throw it in the oven, I presume. So you're going to want to probably preheat that baby up to 400. And not sure how long. So I'm going to say until they're done. So let's, I don't know, see what we can come up with and hopefully we don't burn the house down.
we did it. Well, again, I did it. Uh, I made stuffed mushrooms. That's right. It's got the mushroom filled with cream cheese and cheese and bacon and fluff, a little bit of love. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be tasty. Uh, as you can see to my right, this is my illustrious actual chef, fiance, Kristen Foley. She's uh, going to um, taste it before me, and I don't want to die if it's bad. So she's going to taste it. Let me know how I did, uh, and then I'll taste it if it works. Um, but as you can see, this here, this is not part of the video. This isn't stuffed mushrooms. This is a bonus dish. We had leftovers, and I found some chips laying around, and boom, you got chips, you got dip, you got crackers. Okay, it's, okay, it's crackers and dip, but it's still an appetizer. An appetizer to the appetizers, perhaps, or just more party dishes. So, I promised apps. Baby, I brought the apps. So, I don't, I don't know, I still feel pretty hot, but uh, I'm not going to taste them for shit. So, let's uh, taste these bad boys and see how I did. What you think? Mm, is it all the love that I promised? Pretty tasty, huh? Oh. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see. The chive and onion, I can't like taste dry. I can see it. I can taste it. And if you don't want to get chive and onion cream cheese dip or cream cheese, you can get just plain cream cheese and you can put garlic and green onions to do the same effect if you wanted to do extra, some extra prep stuff. Hmm, I'm going to taste one of these just to taste the filling. No, I'll get that one for you. No, please first. How is the filling by itself? Pretty good. But I do like it in the mushrooms better. I like it warmed up. I think it gives it more of an enhanced flavor. Yeah. Well, then just eat this last because it'll be room temp. Mm. I I that's, that's healthy. Mm. Maybe don't do that. Eat it chill. Okay? Your health is not my fault. If it goes down the tunnel, down the <laughs> tubes, because you followed my actual instructions, okay? I'm not a chef. I'm not certified. You can't take what I do seriously and blame me for it. That's a disclaimer. No. Well, let's now just a little chill. Mmm. Mmm. This, to me, success. And that's the list of things I can do. Hmm. Do I hate mushrooms? But boy, do I love these. The bacon? Hmm. Perfect pairing. Without the bacon, it would be just mush. And with my bacon, I don't like it super crispy. So I undercook it just a little bit, and it still gives the mushrooms a mm. nice... The filling in the mushrooms like a nice texture. It's not crunchy. But whatever, whatever your preference is, is how I would say go ahead and do it. Yeah, and when in doubt, add more bacon. But um, as you can tell, we're definitely going to be eating the rest of these bad boys and some of this. Because it's about to be game time. Uh, so it is Monday, of course. So we want to continue eating these. We're going to head over to the game. And while we do that, you can head over to our other videos. Uh, Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when the next video goes up, which if it's making a master chef, it's on Monday, every Monday, from now until forever, potentially, because uh, I'm gonna, I gotta keep cooking. I gotta get my skills up. So until I do that, you can just count on me showing up every Monday at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and then you can also, Comment down below what you think I should try next. 
Is there any other apps you want me to try? Or maybe like combining them into making some super dish? I don't want to get too ahead of myself because I don't want to fail. You know, I do like the success part of this. <laughs> but I'm bound to fail sometime. And I need the challenge. So comment down below what you want me to try and I shall give it a go. And uh, as always, can't wait to see you there.